losers. I'm coming to you today um, because I wanted to make a quick video about fasting, uh, intermittent fasting, which I do and I am an advocate for. I really believe that it is beneficial for a lot of reasons and I will share them with you. If you are interested in learning more about fasting, um, please continue to watch this video. Ask me any questions uh, in the comments down below. You can reach me on Instagram and ask me questions. I'm happy to answer any questions that you might have. Um, I do have to turn my air on in the car because it is hot, so um, please forgive the noise. And I have errands to run. I'm on lunch as usual, driving around in my car. You know the drill. This is how I do. Um, so it is 12.30 right now, and I am um, 25 hours into my fast. I started at 11.30 yesterday, um, just kind of, you know, talked about it on my last video and time to shrink um, she's in my comment section uh, said let's do this let's do a fast so she did it for I believe 26 hours and um, I'm on hour 25 right now she started um, at dinner time two days ago and I started after I had uh, lunch yesterday so I want to talk about intermittent fasting and why it's beneficial really quickly I'm not going to preach to you I've watched a lot of videos about intermittent fasting. I've experimented with it in the past. If you are interested in more information about it, I did link it a couple videos ago, um, telling you about Cole from the snake diet. Um, granted, he is not everyone's cup of tea. He is abrasive and he does swear a lot. If that's not your thing, I don't know why you're here because I swear a lot too. Although I'm trying to curb that, FYI. I'm trying to make this more, you know, friendly for people who aren't into that sort of thing. It's just a way of life for me. I digress. Um, so if you are interested in other intermittent fasting channels, I will do my best to research uh, the ones that I've looked into in the past. I don't know the names right off the bat, but I will link them down below. Uh, if I don't do that, right when I upload this video, because I want to get it up while I'm in the midst of a fast, because like, what better way to talk about it than while I'm doing it. Um, so right now, I am on hour 25 and I feel really good. I'm not physically hungry, um, I'm mentally hungry, which is nothing new for me. Part of the reason that I do fasting is because it helps me to get a hold of my eating disorder, addictive, bingy behaviors. And it does that because it takes away the option of overeating or running out for binge food or you know the constant obsessive thinking about eating it kind of removes that from my brain like I know I'm not eating until a certain time then I'm not even going to think about food in that time unless I can't help it like unless I'm hungry but the main reason I started doing this is not because I want oh I want to lose weight super quick so I want to start fasting for me, it's to more get a grip over my obsessive food addicted behaviors. Um, because even after surgery, I still struggle with food addiction. I, I'm gonna struggle with it for the rest of my life, I think. And admitting that is pretty shameful, but I am transparent with you guys. I'm honest and Maybe that doesn't make me the most popular uh, vlogger about weight loss surgery, but I am certainly not going to get on here and tell you that surgery is going to cure you of that. And I think that you have gotten that from my previous videos, um, knowing that it's, it's so much a mental game. And I still have had issues with addictive tendencies even after surgery. Um, I think the first time I noticed that I was falling back into those addictive tendencies is when I discovered wisps, which are those baked cheese cracker things. And like, it sounds so ridiculous, guys, but it's true. Like, I was going out of my way to go to Costco when I didn't need to and spending like nine bucks a bag on those things like once a week, which doesn't seem like a lot, but I mean... If you add that up, you know, that's a ridiculous amount of money to spend on something that is just a snack, something I don't even need. I just wanted it because I wanted it. I enjoyed the taste. I wanted to eat it because I liked it. And once I started doing more of like a definite, okay, I'm going to do keto, 
I started this same addictive habit with like pork rinds. And again, saying that out loud sounds ridiculous, but it's that same addictive behavior. Like I, I didn't want to do anything else. I just wanted to sit there and zone out and watch YouTube and stuff my face full of pork rinds. Not because I'm hungry for them, but because I like the taste and I like, I like the flavor and I wanted it, you know? For those of you that don't have eating disorders or don't have a food addiction, um, that might not be easy to understand. You might not understand why somebody would, would say I have a food addiction, but those of you that do know exactly what I'm talking about, it's rarely about hunger. It is rarely, rarely about hunger for food addicts. It's more about ritual and desire and control and uh, gratification. That's what it's about. It's about gratification. When I fast, I'm doing it to teach myself to say no to myself sometimes. Because for those of us that have gotten to be obese or morbidly obese or even overweight, I believe that part of that is related to a discipline issue. Not that we can control it and not that we're just all lazy, self-indulgent slobs. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is it's healthy to tell yourself no. It's healthy to tell yourself this is self-destructive and I don't want to do it anymore. And it's equally healthy to say I need to do something that will make me a little bit uncomfortable so that I can conquer something that is harmful to my body. And for me, binging and overeating and getting obsessive about food, not because, again, not because I'm hungry, but because I want it. Being uncomfortable doing a fast, and it's uncomfortable because, like, you know, you're, you're used to eating. It's not painful. If it were painful, I wouldn't do it. If it were painful, that would tell me I'm doing something I shouldn't be doing. That's another self-destructive behavior. I'm not starving myself, guys. When you have excess body fat on your body, doing a fast, you're not starving yourself. You will go into ketosis and your body will produce ketones and it will start to burn fat for energy, for fuel. I'm going to make a separate video about keto, but this is about fasting. I'm not starving myself. All I'm doing is sort of resetting my brain. That's what works for me. That might not work for everybody. Some people are not capable of fasting. For some people, it's triggering. And I get that 100%. I really do. And for some people, it's just not for you. You don't like the idea of saying no repeatedly to yourself because it maybe it triggers something. Maybe it just doesn't make you feel good. For me, I have a ton of energy right now. I've gone 24 hours or 25 hours now without physically eating any food and I feel really good. I still don't feel any physical hunger. And that tells me that I have, I have so lost touch with the part of my brain that connects to my stomach that tells me if I'm actually hungry or if I'm bored or sad or just feeling snacky or I just want to be putting something in my mouth while I'm watching TV, I lost touch of whether or not I was truly hungry. And I think that is part of the reason why I ended up going through this cycle of gaining and losing and why I ended up gaining weight in the first place is because I can never really tell if I'm truly hungry or if I'm just bored or any of those things. And this helps me rein that in because you know what? When I break my fast and whether it's in 10 minutes or whether it's in an hour or whether it's in five more hours, I'm not going to run out and stuff my face full of garbage. I'm not going to binge. I'm going to make a healthy choice and I'm going to only eat what I need to get full. Now granted, because I've had the weight loss surgery, I get full quicker and that'll be easier to do, but it's all about choices for me and reminding myself that I am disciplined enough to complete this process and then choose a healthy a healthy way to break my fast is incredibly gratifying to me. And it's almost 
it's not almost, it's definitely more gratifying than it would feel to just fall back into all of my old habits and patterns and stuff myself with garbage food that not only do I not need, but that I'm not even hungry for. I'm going to stop rambling, guys. I hope this made sense. Um, I'm, I'm going to, like I said, I'm going to make another video about um, keto and keto for weight loss versus medical keto. Because I know when I first started the whole keto thing, I was pretty confused. I had a lot of um, questions. If you have any questions about fasting or intermittent fasting, anything like that, please reach out to me, guys, here or on Instagram. And I've actually recorded um, several videos on Instagram just kind of documenting this particular fast. So it's like I said, it's been relatively painless. I'm, I'm on hour 25 and I'm perfectly fine. If anything, I'm feeling better than I did before I did this because I'm feeling like I have a little bit more clarity and I'm feeling much more confident in my self and I'm feeling more in control. And for me, that is very gratifying. So that's all I've got to say about that for now. I am going to run into the bank and run my errands and I will check in with you guys again soon. Bye!